Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Ads to WordPress in 2023. Of course, Google Ads is a powerful advertising platform and WordPress is a widely used content management system. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Google Ads with your WordPress websites for effective advertising campaigns. So of course, make sure to stick by and let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in into your Google Ads account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section and simply type ads.google.com and hit the enter button. So basically, if you don't know nothing or much about Google Ads, you can scroll down, uh, have a general idea or know more information about us, familiarize yourself with the websites, see what people are saying about us and etc. And then if you have an account, go to the top right corner, click on sign in to log in into your account. And if you don't, click on start now to create a new account. For me, I'll just click on sign in. This will sign me right into my account without entering my credentials, something like that, because I've like signed in recently. And now what you'll need to do, go and create an account on WordPress and do the same. So go to wordpress.com and a new tab and simply go and create an account. As you can see, I'm already even logged in, so I don't have to do anything. Of course, log in into your account if you have an account, and if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. So now to connect this Google Ads with WordPress, we will use a website called Zapier or a tool called Zapier. So open a new tab, go and type zapier.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, uh, scroll down if you don't know nothing about Zapier of course from here you'll be able to know a lot of information about us it's very very useful this tool is very useful you may uh, be able to use it on a lot of different things not just in this video or from Google as to WordPress so just understand what it does see what people are saying about it and basically if you have an account of course you can simply go to the top right corner and click on login if you have an account and if you don't click on sign up to create a new account you can create an account with google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account of course if you're interested to see the pricing here is it just in case so pause the video and check it all by your own so for me here i'll just go and click on login to log into my account i'll choose google or use google here i'll choose my account here and basically, I will be at that dashboard. Now, what I will need to do is simply go to this list panel. From here, make sure to go and click on apps. Once you click on apps, you'll be taken to this page. Of course, once you are here, make sure to go to search apps and simply type WordPress. As you can see, for me, it's already connected. I have one connection. For you, if you are still not connected, click on connect. And let's just wait. As you can see for here, they will ask you for the base URL, username, and password. So simply just enter those out. Go to your uh, WordPress uh, website, get your URL. So sorry. Let's go here. So get your URL, uh, enter username and the password, and click on Yes, continue to WordPress without any problems. Once connect you connected, you'll find an option like this that is connected. As you can see, now, once everything is connected, uh, once you connected to WordPress, you'll have to go and do the same for Google Ads. So go here, type Google Ads. And again, as you can see, you'll find this connected for me. For you, click on connect. And once you do so, as you can see, you'll have to choose an account if you have more than one. And as you can see for me, Zapier has already have access. Make sure you trust Zapier as you can see. So for me, I trust it. I'll just click on continue. For you, you will have to grant access. And of course, you'll find yourself that is already connected. For me, let me just delete this because like I've already have one connection. So I don't have to do two. Now we come to the fun part or to the most easy part. As you can see, this tutorial has nothing hard on it and it will become even easier because we'll simply go to the slash panel, click on create zap and we'll do everything by AI and we will need some logic. So it's very, very basic here. What you would like to automate. So this tool will let you connect and in the same time, automate something from Google ads to WordPress as example. So here, what I will do as example, I'll do when I uh, like, I don't know what, when I create a new or post a new product when I 
host a new product on my WordPress website. Okay, so this is not product, this is product. Products. And what you should do, create an example and you campaign in Google Ads. As simple as that. And click on generate. So you don't have to have some knowledge on the triggers, actions, etc. You will basically need some uh, understanding of this and some knowledge, as you can see. So sync WordPress new posts with Google Ads campaign. As simple as that. So step one, it will check the trigger of new posts. And if it checked the trigger and it's become right, so of course, it will simply go and create a report. Click on try it. And as you can see, everything will be done. So basically, just solve any unsolved problems. Like as you can see, this danger mark. Click on it. As you can see, you'll find this an account. So you'll have to choose an account. I'll choose an account here. I have one account. And once you choose the account, of course, so I choose it. So I don't know, maybe it's not working. You can connect like a new account if it's your account is not working. So just can go and connect that. And once you connect it, of course, you make sure to that your event is right, like new posts. You can even change it to a new user, new uh, updated posts, new media, new comments, whatever you like. Then you can go now to Google Ads. As you can see, the event is create a report. You can change that to whatever you want. Create a customer list, remove contacts from list, uh, send offline conversion, whatever you want. And then, of course, this account is connected. Now, uh, depending on the event that you choose, you'll have to customize the action depending on whatever you want. So just customize it. As I said, depending on the event that you choose, if we change this uh, create reports from like uh, create customer list, the action will change. So make sure to customize the action depending on whatever you want and you will be good to go. Once you finish, as you can see to continue, finish the required field. So this is required, this is required. So finish those as examples. So once you finish those as example, I'll just choose and see if it's possible. So I don't know, just name it something like that and click on continue. I don't think it will work, but I'll just click on test. As you can see, they can even test everything before like uh, it's finished. So they will they will test everything for you. So don't worry. As you can see, it creates customer list in Google Ads. You can even skip tests if you want to. And once you solve all the problems, you can see uh, you'll still have, I'll still have to choose one account here. Then you can turn it on and everything will be connected and you will be good to go. So for you, Congratulations, you've successfully connected Google Ads to WordPress website in 2023. And of course, this integration will allow you to track conversions and optimize your advertising campaigns for better results and make it even automated. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.